Joan and her, her collaborators, her colleagues, were particularly interested in fossils of land and marine vertebrates, things with a backbone. Firstly, the most common things they found were marine reptiles, so things like uh, mosasaurs, which were giant marine lizards, some of them overseas became uh, gigantic, and plesiosaurs, which were the long-necked marine reptiles, things with a, a neck like a snake. And then, of course, she started finding land dinosaurs as well. To find dinosaur bones, you have to have a very special set of circumstances. You have to have exactly the right sort of rocks were deposited in the right sort of environment. We don't have huge areas of the right sort of rocks, and even what we have got is hugely underexplored. I mean, New Zealand has a tiny population of paleontologists, very few people out there looking, which is why amateurs have made such an important contribution. Getting fossils out of the rock at Mangahoanga is very hard. The rock is extremely hard. So to, to get the bones out, Joan and her collaborators removed some with, with chisels and little pneumatic tools, but then they use acid. They um, coat the exposed bone with a special resin to protect it, put the whole thing in acid for a week or two, and the acid starts to eat away the rock, and then they take it out, wash it painstakingly, then dry it, and then coat any exposed bone with lacquer again, with a special varnish, and then put it back in the acid, and do this time after time after time. It takes many months, sometimes years. Um, the acid will attack the bone, which is why you have to keep coating it, but it attacks the rock faster, so you, you take advantage of that. You let expose a bit of the bone, protect that bit of bone, then put it back in the acid and let... And it's a hugely time-consuming job.